Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel for this episode 5 on Comston Farm with me, Farmer Murphy. Well, I'm down here at field 23, and I brought our uh, bale trailer in here. So this corner is a little tight, and I thought before uh, <laughs> we made our entrance, I better make sure we could get that in here. So the next step is I'm going to lease a mulcher, and if we look online here, Uh, forestry equipment. I think I'm going to go with this model here. It's a little bit more money, uh, but I've had a little better luck taking out standing trees with it. So we'll go ahead and we'll place our order here. So I'll take our bale trailer back and I'll run down to the shop and uh, pick that up and meet you back here. Well, I'm back with our mulcher. As you can see, I left the bale trailer here. I realize there's no point in taking it back because we're going to salvage this field. Once we get the entrance made in, we'll need it. So, uh, I just left it here. Also, I should mention there's a contract ongoing cultivating on 17 and fertilizing on field 1 that are going on right now. So let's give this a go and see how it works out. Well, it didn't completely delete it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But it will mulch it up when it's laying on the ground. Sometimes you it works better if you come at it from the other end. Now where's our stump here? Huh, just one second here. Need to put the help menu on. Just needed to look up. I wanted to remember how to move these uh, pieces here. So let's... Uh, down on there. Alright. I'll have to come and do a little landscaping here. I'll landscape this up a little trail in. Sometimes it works best if you lower it, but if you lower it, then it uh, brings up the, uh, the plowing texture. I will have to take these two trees out of the middle, too, so we don't have to work around them. There's one here, one down there. So we'll give that a try, but I might need to take my chainsaw and whack them into little pieces to get rid of them. back as far as it will go. Well, we're going to have to cut those down with the chainsaw. So. I had it there for a second. Now what I have, I have 
had success with in his past is just chopping this up into little pieces and driving over it. Whoops. Just like this. And it'll munch up those little pieces, so. have to uh, cut that little more to the ground, it looks like. Let's see if we can get the... No, it looks like I'll probably have to whack that up into little pieces. Well, I'll carry on with that, and... Uh, I'll bring you back when I'm closer to the end of that little project. Ah, there we go. Tree is gone. And I managed to only have that one little spot you can see that I need to fix. It is a little more tricky to do it that way. If you can drop it down on top of the tree when you drive on it, um, it's easier or less fiddly. But then you have a bunch of patches like that. And uh, of course, if you're in the forest, and doing it who cares but uh, I didn't want to have to do a bunch of repairs so we'll head down here and get rid of this other tree and all I did is uh, take the big limbs off the trunk and uh, I got rid of most of the large trunk in one piece but we'll have to get out and chainsaw this one down as well. Try and cut a little lower this time. Now this piece here that I had on the other one was a little bit trickier to get to mulch without setting it down, but I just get coming at it from different angles. I have had it actually take the whole tree out um, right from standing, and it happens a little more frequently with that uh, model I chose rather than the other one. But of course it won't do it when someone's watching. With these limbs, I found what worked best is just to drive at them this way. And 
there it goes. Sometimes I found when you're backing up, back across it is when it'll disappear. Like I said, if you drive on and drop it down, it works really well, but then it's going to leave that. Oh, I think I missed. But that's all I did, just patiently worked away at it. These little pieces, like you drive over and back, back across, they quite often will disappear. Just like that. So I'll carry on with this and I'll get this cleaned up and uh, I'll bring you back in in a minute. There we go, our entrance is complete. You can see I made ourselves a little track up here. Kind of tried to make it match uh, what was here already. I did knock one limb off this tree just to kind of open it up in here a little bit. But I did find another little area I'm going to go check out that we might get uh, into and um, gain a little bit more territory. So I'll move up there. I'm um, over by the garden center. If we take a look at the map, uh, there's where I am at right there. And there's the garden center. And if we go through here... There's another area. But the issue is, it's completely surrounded by these hedges I've checked all the way around. And uh, I can't mulch them out and I can't delete them. So we could get rid of everything behind, but we'd have to drive through the hedge in order to utilize it. So I think we'll leave that for now. And uh, it was just land we already owned that we could have utilized. I think we own this strip up in here too, so we have that area we could put placeables on or something if we took the trees out. So I think we'll return the mulcher and uh, call our logging project uh, done for now. So with the worker on field one needs a little attention, uh, fertilizing contract. And uh, then I'll gather up our uh, mowing gear and we'll start uh, uh, silaging, <laughs> sorry, couldn't find the word, silaging that field that we just opened up. So I'll see you then. We're up here at our secret field. Got our mower set up. This edge here can be a little tricky, kind of hard to see. It's on swath dropping, as you can see. It's 
will turn all these bay or uh, all this into silage. We'll keep uh, 24 bales for TMR. Might be a little easier here to see in cap. The rest of our fields we have available will uh, turn day. Fertilizing contract on field one is complete. Cultivating contract on 17 still ongoing. I'll carry on with this. I'll get all this mowed and I'll bring you back in for the bailing. Well, as you can see, I've got the baler down here now. It's all mowed. Let's see what we get for bales off this field. It's only 50% uh, fertilized. So next time uh, we should get a little more because I'll come up here and fertilize it once we get all the bales off. Oh, because I didn't need to sit there and watch that. I apologize for not being able to uh, chat too much. The issue with uh, vocal cords that uh, if I don't talk, I don't cough.
any of those little spots I miss, I'll come back and uh, clean up. Well, I'm sure you've got the idea. I'll bring you back in and let you know what we got off this field. See you in a bit. Well, there, the bales are... Our baling is complete. As you can see, we easily got a uh, load to make TMR. And there's uh, another load plus a bit, 53 bales we cut off this field, and that was with 50% uh, fertilization. So once we get fertilizer down, we should do better than that. Boy, it would be nice when they, uh, it, they bring out that camera collision mod again. Maybe you can, oh, you can hear it better in here. That guy plays that song constantly, 24-7. He must really love it. Not a bad song, but you think he'd expand his repertoire a little bit. I think we'll unload these where the bale trailer was sitting. Set them there for now. Because they're wrapped, they don't need to be undercover. We can sneak out into our field here a little bit. The crop hasn't come up yet.
Well, I'll go pick the rest of those bales up and find some place to put them while they ferment. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Well, I brought the bales back here to the uh, main farm. Got one load there, plus our five extras. But let's take a look at the map here. And we've got 4, 31, and 15. I'm going to turn all those into hay. Um, should get more than uh, 24 bales, I would figure. And if we do, uh, then um, we'll take that extra hay and use it to bring the sheep in. And I want to look at the contracts here. There's a few contracts left, and there's these two baling ones, one for hay and one for silage. So I'll probably pick those up and do those tomorrow. That'll give us a few extra silage bales, which we don't really need, but it will give us some extra hay bales, which we could use. But I checked our time, and I can't, uh, can't believe it. that's our half hour gone already. So I think what I'll do is I'll carry on and complete those contracts. I'm going to fertilize our secret field. And uh, sorry about the dog. Uh, and then uh, we're going to carry on um, and get those contracts. And I'll bring you guys back in when we're ready to get the animals. Now, maybe uh, later tomorrow, if I uh, get enough hay that we can bring in the sheep, or if not, it'll be in a couple days when those silage bales ferment and uh, we can get our cows. But uh, um, for now, I think we'll call that an episode. So if you're still with me, really appreciate you watching. Um, if you're enjoying the contact, hit the uh, like and subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when new content drops, you can hit that notification bell. But for now, Farmer Murphy, signing off.